All right, welcome back, folks, to our third and final game of Card Sharks here on Game Show Night for the After Zeldathon party. Congratulations to Mushman for winning 2,900 rupees. We've had a lot of fun so far here, and now we're going to get set up for the final game. It's going to be Ramirez versus Professor Whom. Ramirez, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Yourself? Oh, I'm doing terrific. So, what was your favorite part about Zeldathon, Ramirez? Oh, that's kind of hard to choose just because there's so many great moments. But for me, the, one of the best ones was, was, I guess, Wind Waker HD, just because I loved Wind Waker yep. on the GameCube. So yep. seeing it played on HD is just very fun. Yeah, it's an awesome game. I got to see the first three hours. Uh, Super MC Gamer does a terrific job on that. So good to have you here, Ramirez. Um, so your opponent is going to be a longtime Card Sharks veteran and one of the biggest winners in Card Sharks history and has the most money in a single championship reign. It is Professor Whom. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing fine. That's good to hear. So, Professor Whom, what was your favorite part of Zeldathon? Watch me swoosh right in. That was a good moment. Yep, Sora got his swooshes in, and <laughs> it's become quite the popular meme, that and money-making games. <laughs> So, are you ready to go and see if you can perhaps take the number one spot of all time? I did check. You're about 500 rupees behind Saria. You ready to try and get number one back? Professor Who? Oh, hello. Yep, I'm here. Are you ready Hi. to try and get the number one spot back? You're about 500 rupees behind Saria. Are you ready to get number one back? My body is ready again. All right, excellent. Good to have that attitude. So... We did a drawing. Ramirez, you're going to be playing the red cards. Professor Whom, you're going to be playing the blue cards. You guys know how the game works, so let's get started. Good luck to the both of you. Question one and game number one is going to go to you, Ramirez, and here it is. We asked 100 married men. Honestly now, is your wife smarter than you? How many said that they have wives smarter than themselves? Huh. Um, I guess 45. 45 out of 100 said that they have wives smarter than themselves. Professor Whom is the actual answer higher or lower than 45? I'm going to say lower. Lower than 45. Number of married men who said that they have wives smarter than themselves is 36. You're right, Professor Whom. It is lower. All right, Professor Whom. In this game, your first card is a 5. Play it or change? Change. All right. He's going to hope for a better card than the five. That five now becomes an ace. All right, Professor Whom, what's the call? Lower than that ace. Lower than the ace. It's an eight. Right in the middle now, Professor Whom. What are you going to do? Play or freeze? Oh, these cards. Uh, you know what? Let's say lower than the eight. All right, risking it lower than the eight. Oh, no, it's another ace. It is not lower. And that means Ramirez Oof. gets a free shot at the cards. You can't change this card because you didn't win the question, but it's a deuce. What's the call, Ramirez? Uh, where, are my, where are my options? You got it. Well, you can't freeze because you're at the beginning. It's either higher or lower than the two, but the two is the lowest card, so what are you going to call it? I'm going to say higher. Higher than the two. It's a seven. You're right. Okay, Ramirez, you're near the middle with a seven. You can either continue calling higher or lower, or you can freeze. But remember, if you get a, if you get a card wrong, you go back to the base card. Play or freeze. I'm going to play it smart and say freeze. All right, freezing on the seven. That protects your position. And we'll move on to question number two. And question two, it goes to you, Professor Whom. We asked 100 Protestant ministers, in your opinion, should X-rated movies be banned? How many said that they feel that X-rated movies should be banned? 45. 45 out of 100 said that X-rated movies should be banned. Ramirez, is the actual answer higher or lower than 45? I'm going to say higher. Higher than 45. Number of Protestant ministers who think X-rated movies should be banned is 
47. You're right, Ramirez, by two, it is higher. Okay, Ramirez, you have control and you have a seven. You want to change it? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, good idea. That seven now becomes a four. That's a pretty good card. What's the call, Ramirez? I'm going to go with higher. Higher than the four? It's a five, just a little bit higher, but it's right. What are you going to do, play or freeze? I'm going to play. And the call. Higher. Higher than the five? It's a ten. Okay, Ramirez, you're one card away from winning game number one. Would you like to play or freeze? It's a ten. I'm going to play. All right, he's going to go for it. What's the call? I'm going to say lower. All right, for the first game of the match, is it lower than the 10 for Ramirez? Oh, no, it's a king. Bad luck. That means you go back to your base card, and Professor Whom gets a free shot at the cards. You've got that ace. What's the call? Lower than the ace. Lower than the ace. It's a jack. All right, Professor Whom, player freeze. You know what, these cards are really mean. I I want to freeze. All right, freezing on the jack, that protects your position, and we move on to question number three. And the question belongs to you, Ramirez. We asked 100 men in Germany, would you be unhappy working for a female boss? How many men in Germany said that they would be unhappy with a female boss? 42. 42, you say? Yes. Okay. 42 out of 100. Professor Whom, is it actually higher or lower than 42? Unhappy with the female boss. I'm not German, but I'm going to say higher. Higher than 42. Number of men in Germany who would be unhappy with the female boss is 10. Just 10. It's not higher, it's lower. Ramirez gets control of the cards, and you have that 4. Do you want to play it? Yes. All right, what's the call? Uh, I want I, go up. Higher than the four? Oh, no, it's a two! Oh, man! I'm telling you. Tell oh. Professor Whom warned you these cards are evil, so Professor Whom, you now have a free shot of the cards. You've got a jack, and you cannot change it. What's the call? You know, uh, geez, it's probably going to be higher, so if it's lower, but I'm going to go higher. You're going you're gonna to say higher than the jack. I'm going to say higher than the jack. All right. Higher than the jack. Nope, it's a nine. I'm sorry, Professor Whom. That means neither player makes any progress. And now, folks, we have reached sudden death. That means somebody has to win on this play of the cards. Control is very important. Professor Whom, the question goes to you. We asked 100 single women, do you usually check to see if an attractive man is wearing a wedding ring? How many said that they do check for a wedding ring, Professor Whom? 36. 36 out of 100. All right. Ramirez, is it actually higher or lower than 36? I'm going to go off of women, say lower. Lower than 36. Number of single women who check for a wedding ring is 57. No, it's not lower. It's higher. Professor Whom gets control of the cards. Professor Whom, we're in sudden death. Here are your options. You got a jack, and you can change that card. If you make a mistake, however, you'll lose the game, and Ramirez will win it. Or you could pass it to Ramirez, and he's got to play three cards in a row correctly. If he goofs, you win the game, Professor Whom. You want to play or pass? Okay, so how many cards would I have to call? You have to call three more cards in a row correctly. Both of you need three cards. Okay, um... I'm sorry, but it's it's all yours, man. All right. These cards are just evil. All right, Professor Whom is not going to keep control. Ramirez, you've got a four, and you've got to play it. What's the call? I'm going to play it. you got to play it. What's the call? Oh, okay. Um, up. Higher than the four? It's a six. All right, two more. Uh, up. Higher than the six? It's a nine. All right, Ramirez, you're one card away, but you're near the middle with a nine. This is a tough call for the game. What is this? I'm going to say lower. 
Lower than the nine for game number one. It's a seven. Ramirez wins the game. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah. Boy, I tell you. Well done. Yep. Well done indeed. He got through those cards. They were kind to him this time. So that means Ramirez gets 100 rupees. And, of course, it takes two games to win. So, Professor Hume, you know what you got to do. All right. Ramirez, we're going to start game number two with you and brand new cards. Here's the question. We asked 100 teenage children of child psychologists. Have you ever seen your father really lose his temper? How many say that they have seen their father lose his temper? Uh, 37. 37 out of 100. All right. Professor Whom, is it higher or lower than 37? Hmm. I'm going to say a little bit lower than that. Lower than 37. Number who has said that they have seen the father lose his temper is 64. No, it's not lower. It's higher. Ramirez gets control of the cards. And Ramirez, your first card is an ace. You're going to play it, right? Yeah. What's the call, please? Lower. Lower than the ace. Oh, no, another ace. Can you believe this? That means... Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, I, I can believe it, too. <laughs> Remember, this is evil card sharks here on the After Zeldathon party. Professor Whom, you get a free shot at the cards. You cannot change this one. It's a queen. What's the call? Lower than the queen. Lower than the queen? It's a nine. You're right. You've got a nine. Do you want to play or freeze? Lower than the nine. Risking it lower? It's an eight. <laughs> Not much better, Professor Whom. You're now right in the middle with an eight. What are you going to do? Now I'll freeze. Freezing on the eight. That protects your position. And we'll move on to question number two. The question goes to you, Professor Whom. We asked 116-year-old girls, right now, are you in love with someone? How many 16-year-old girls said they are in love with someone? Hmm. Interesting question. Um, I myself am not a sixteen-year-old girl. You might, you might have guessed this. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with seventy-five. Seventy-five out of one hundred said that they are in love with someone. Ramirez, is it higher or lower than seventy-five? I'm gonna say lower. Lower than seventy-five. Lunaris and Dark Decay. There actually was a high-low question where the answer was one hundred. So you never know. Lower than seventy-five is what Ramirez says. Well, not if it was 100. The answer is 51. Ramirez is right. It is lower. Just over half. That's all. Okay, Ramirez, you've got an ace. I assume you want to play it. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try that lower again. All right. I'll get another ace. <laughs> let's let's not see another ace. Let's see something good. Lower than the ace. It's an eight. That's not good. Well, it is lower than the ace, but it's you're right in the middle now. You've got an eight. Do you want to play or freeze? Mm. I'm going to play. All right. What's the call? Lower. Lower than the eight. It's a four. Good guess. Okay, Ramirez, you're two cards away from the championship. What's the call, or do you want to freeze? I'm going to play, and I want it to go up. Higher than the four. It's a jack. Okay, Ramirez, you're one card away from the championship. If you get it wrong, you're back to that ace. What are you going to do, play or freeze? I'm going to play, and I'm going to lower it. All right. If it's lower than the jack, Ramirez is the champion. Is it lower than the jack? It's a five, and Ramirez has won the match. Congratulations. Well done. Whoop, whoop. Wow, good job. Good show. Good show indeed. I tell you, Ramirez, you, you pulled that off. You pulled that off terrifically. You had some long odds to face, and you conquered them. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, Professor Hume, you like you said, those cards are pure evil, and unfortunately they did you in this time. But you have a lot of fun? I did. All right. Good to have you here, Professor Hume. Maybe we'll see you later on. But Ramirez, it's all you. You ready to play the money cards? Let's play the money-making game. Money-making game! All right, 200 rupees for winning the match. That's yours to keep no matter what. We'll give you new money to play with, and you know how it works. There's a chance to win 32,000 rupees and a brand new car. Ramirez, your first card is a three. 
You got 200 rupees. You want to play it? Uh, yes. How much would you like to wager of that 200? Uh, go up, I guess. Well, you got to tell me how much you want to bet. You got 200. Oh, so you, okay. So you, right. can, so you can either bet 50, 100, 150, or all 200. Oh, okay. Um, let's start with 50. The minimum bet on the three? Yeah. All right. 50 rupees. Low, uh, higher than the three. Sorry. 50 rupees. Higher than the three. It's a queen. Yeah. All right. You got it. Ooh. 250 rupees and a queen. Do you want to play this card? Uh, that's Qu it. Queen's, pr queen's pretty good. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, queen. Okay. How much of the 250 would you like to wager on the queen? I'm gonna bet it all. All of it. All right. What's the call? Lower. All right. All of it. 250 rupees. Lower than the queen. It's a deuce! 500 rupees and a two. You can't lose. Let's hear it. Mm. A two. Um, I'm going to bet it all, and it's higher. All right. For 1,000 rupees, higher than the two. It's a six. All right. You got it. 1,000 rupees. We're going to move the six up to the next row. I'll give you the other 400 rupees in betting money. You've got 1,400 rupees and a six. Would you like to play the card, or do you want to change it? Remember, you can only change one card per line, so this would be it. Uh, or you yeah, can... let's, let's change the card. You're going to change it. Would you like card number one, two, or three? Two. Card number two. All right, let's see if we can get you a good card. That's six. Now becomes oh, a nine. Ooh, tough card. 1,400 mm. rupees and a nine. The minimum of that is 50 rupees. How much would you like to wager? All right, since this is the last card, I'm going to go crazy. Bet all of it. It's going to be lower. Oh, no, no, no. Guaranteed. Th this is not. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to let you know. This is not the last card. This, you're, this is the first card oh, of the. This is the first card of the second row. There's still four cards left. Oh, I was going to go suicidal. Okay, never, you, never you, mind then. You, you, <laughs> you, still, you still can if you want, but if you get it wrong, you're out. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with, let's see, how much do I have? You have 1,400 rupees. Okay, I'm going to bet 500 on lower. All right. 500 rupees. Lower than the nine? Oh, no, it's a queen. I'm sorry about that. So you're down to 900 rupees and a queen, and you cannot change the card. We're still in the second row. How much would you like to bet of your 900? Uh, 200, and we're still on the queen, correct? Yep, it's a queen. You have 900. Uh, okay, so 200, and I think it's going to be lower this time. All right, 200 rupees. Lower than the queen? Oh, no, it's an ace! Mushman called it in chat. <laughs> he called it in chat. I cannot believe it. There it is. All right. Well, you're down to 700 rupees, and you've got an ace, but and again, you can't lose, so let's hear the bet. All right. All of it lower. All right. For 1,400 rupees, lower than the ace, it's a king. All right. We moved the king up to the big bet, and you have 1,400 rupees. Um... You want to play the king, or do you, or do you dare take a chance and change it? You got a king. I'm not, I'm not gonna change the king now. All right. How much do you want to bet? You got to wager at least 700 rupees. All right, 700 lower. All right, he's gonna hold back. All right, that's fine. He can do that. He's gonna go 700 rupees lower than the king. If he's right, he'll have 2,100 rupees. All right, good luck. 700 rupees lower than the king. It's a 10. You've got it. Well done, Ramirez. 2,100 rupees. Nicely done. Congratulations. Woo. Yes, indeed, Professor Hoom. That Icy's last game of, I think it was the seventh episode of Card Chart. If you haven't seen it on YouTube or Twitch, I think it's out of the Twitch uh, archives now, but if you haven't seen it on my YouTube channel, watch it. You'll be in for a shot. Professor Hoom's uh, last game on the eighth episode that was also a shock, too. So if you want to see some very epic games, those were exciting. So please watch.
Anyways, back to the game at hand. Ramirez, you're going to have a chance to win the car. Now, we didn't find any jokers this time, so you're going to have one chance of winning the car. And the car you're going to be playing for this time is the same car as last time. It is a Dodge Colt worth 6,388 rupees. Chat, make your guesses right now and see if one of you can win that car. So, Ramirez, give me a number between 1 and 7. Where do you think the car is? Um, hmm. 1 and 7. Um, I'm going to say 4. Car number 4, right down the middle. All right. Mushman says 5. Uh, Jack Mullen says 4. Mushman is hedging his bet. He says 5 or 3. Blade of Truth, 1 or 5. Professor Whom, 7 or 5. And Super Smash Boys, 5 or 3. SS Dark C8, 1. Peacock 486 and Lunaris both say 3. Let's find out where the car is. Hopefully it's behind number 4. Good luck. For the car. Is the car behind card number 4? No, it's not. I am terribly sorry. Well, we couldn't give away a card this time on Game Show Night. Maybe we'll do so next time. Let's see if anybody got it right. Show us where the car was, please. And if it's behind number five, everybody's going to call hacks. So hopefully it's somewhere else, but let's find out. Where's that car? Number seven. It is down on the other end this time, so no triple play. But, Ramirez, you played a very good game. You've got 2,300 rupees, and you are our Card Sharks champion. Congratulations. Well done. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. It, it was quite fun, yes. All right. Very good. So, that's all the time we have for Card Sharks here on Game Show Night. Coming up next is going to be Hollywood Squares. That's going to be a lot of fun as well. Kajira is our three-time champion, and we're going to see if he can add on to his big-time winnings right after this. So, don't go away, everyone. <laughs> 